Now to the migrant crisis in New York City and the growing opposition to housing asylum seekers across the five boroughs. Protesters on Staten Island gathered outside of a senior living facility in Midland Beach last night after learning it will house migrants. And then things got chaotic, resulting in several arrests. Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu live in Midland Beach this morning with the latest on the investigation. Janice, good morning. Good morning, Mike. We actually saw similar situations play out just about a month ago when community members protested the use of the former St. John Villa Academy here on Staten Island to be used as a migrant shelter. Uh, there's a legal battle ongoing over that. But again, a similar situation happening here. And take a look behind me. This road is closed right now. So all the roads surrounding the Island Shores Senior Living Facility um, is being barricaded off. There there are officers here keeping an eye on things as well. Uh, protesters gathered yesterday in front of an MTA bus in front of this uh, senior living facility. There was a lot. There were a line of officers uh, facing the protesters, and in the end, 10 people were arrested, charged with disorderly conduct. A 48-year-old man was charged for allegedly assaulting an officer who was trying to arrest someone. This 288-bed facility was put up for sale last year, and residents have been protesting ever since rumors started swirling that this may be converted into a migrant shelter. Some Staten Island community members say the officers yesterday were aggressive during the protests and trying to suppress their right to free speech. As I told them, they don't have enough handcuffs, they don't have enough cops, they don't have enough cards. We're going to be here 24-7, 365, and the illegals are not going to want to come here. They should stay in Manhattan. Well, meanwhile, New York City is considering some changes on how long single adult asylum seekers can stay in shelters from 60 days, which is what it is currently, to 30. It's also considering putting a 60 day restriction on how long families with children are allowed to stay in shelters. Right now, they are allowed to stay for as long as they need. Now, Governor Hochul yesterday did meet with President Biden, who is in town for the UN General Assembly. She did say she talked about specific requests regarding the migrant crisis.